became a priest truly after God's own heart, outstanding in humility and poverty, prayer and mortification. The Church has exalted you as model and patron saint of all priests, trusting that your example and prayers will help them to live up to the high dignity of their vocation, to be faithful servants of God's people, to be perfect imitators of Christ, the Savior, who came not to be served, but to serve, to give his life in ransom for many. Pray that God may give to his church today many more priests after his own heart. Pray for all the priests under your patronage, that they may be worthy representatives of Christ, the Good Shepherd. May they wholeheartedly devote themselves to prayer and penance, be examples of humility and poverty, shining models of holiness, tireless and powerful preachers of the Word of God, zealous dispensers of God's grace in the sacraments. May their loving devotion to Jesus in the Eucharist and to Mary, his mother, be the twin fountains of fruitfulness for their ministry. Amen. St. John Marie Vianney, pray for us. Prayer for vocations. Jesus, our Good Shepherd, Bless our parish of St. Andrew and all other parishes with numerous priests, deacons, men and women in religious life, consecrated laity and missionaries, according to the needs of the entire world, which you love and wish to save. Assist our pastors and all who live a consecrated life. Guide the steps of those who have responded generously to your call and are preparing to receive holy orders or to profess vows. Look with love on young people and call them to follow you. Help them to understand that in you alone can they attain complete fulfillment. To this end, we call on the powerful intercession of Mary, mother and model of all vocation. We beseech you to sustain our faith that the Father will grant what you command us to ask. Amen. Prayer to St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage and defend us from every evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Kindly be seated.
Good evening once again, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. St. Andrew the Apostle Parish welcomes you to the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Today is the 28th of January, Thursday of the third week in Ordinary Time. Today we also commemorate the memorial of St. Thomas Aquinas, priest and doctor of the church. Thomas Aquinas was an Italian Dominican friar, philosopher, Catholic priest, and doctor of the church, an immensely influential philosopher, theologian, and jurist in the tradition of scholasticism. He is also known within the latter as the Dr. Angelicus and the Dr. Communist. We shall now begin our Eucharistic celebration. All please stand. To the table enter his presence Sweet thanksgiving and celebrate his love To the table enter his presence Sweet thanksgiving celebrate his love Thanksgiving and celebrate his love my brothers and sisters, together with your own individual intentions and the individual intentions of those who join us through live streaming and for the intentions offered in this Mass, we continue to pray for all of us Filipinos that God may help us be protected from the more infectious COVID-19 variant. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries in the Holy Eucharist, when today we celebrate the memory of St. Thomas Aquinas. Let us first call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. Let us pause for a short moment to examine ourselves. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, our Father, who made St. Thomas Aquinas outstanding in his zeal for holiness and his study of sacred doctrine, grant us, we pray, that we may understand what he taught and imitate what he accomplished through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since through the blood of Jesus we have confidence of entrance into the sanctuary by the, way, by the new and living way he opened for us through the veil that is his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a sincere heart and in absolute trust with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed in pure water. Let us hold unwaveringly to our confession that gives us hope, for he who made the promise is trustworthy. We must consider how to rouse one another to love and good works. 
we should not stay away from our assembling, as is the custom of some, but encourage one another. And this all the more as you see the day drawing near. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the Lord of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. From the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamb brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed and not to be placed on a lampstand for there is nothing hidden except to be made visible nothing is secret except to come to light Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, Take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. To the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. My brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang gabi ho sa inyong lahat. May isang monghe noon na ginugol ang kanyang buong buhay sa pagme-meditate sa, sa loob ng isang madilim na yungib. So dinadalhan na lamang siya ng kanyang mga disciples, ng kanyang mga tagasunod, ng pagkain at tubig. At dahil 
ang monghe na ito ay hindi nagaanong naglalakad dahil palagi lang siyang nakaupo habang nagme-meditate at hindi na siya gaanong lumalabas sa liwanag para makita ang mga bagay at doon lang siya sa loob ng yungid na madilim at wala siyang makikita. Kaya sa bandang huli, hindi na siya makakikita na wala yung kanyang paningin at hindi na rin siya makalalakad. So sa ganitong experience ng monghe, ito ay uh, makakatulong sa atin para maintindihan po natin ang sinabi ng ating Panginoon sa Ebanghelyo. Ito yung sinabi niya na to the one who has more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Kaya kung mayroon po tayong kakayahang lumakad at lagi nating itong ginagamit, eh mas lalo tayong magkakaroon ng kakayahang lumakad. Hindi po ba? Kung mayroon po tayong kakayahang makakita at lagi natin itong ginagamit, ay lalo tayong makakikita. So the more you use what you have, the more you will have it. But if you don't use them, you will lose them. So ang isang mayroon po tayo ay ang ating pagiging katoliko. At ang ating pagiging katoliko bilang mga katoliko tayo ay ikinukumpara sa lamp o ilawan. Sabi nga sa Ibanghelyo, ang lamp o ang ilawan ay hindi itinatago sa ilalim ng bushel basket or under a bed. Ito ay dapat inilalabas para may gamit ang kanyang liwanag at liliwanagan ang nasa palibot nito. So ganyan din dapat ang nangyayari sa ating pagiging katoliko. Dapat ilabas po natin ito. Paano ba natin ilalabas ang ating pagiging katoliko? Sa pamamagitan ng pagsasabuhay nito. At kung lagi nating isinasabuhay, we are practicing our being Catholic, the more that we will be Catholic. Pero kung hindi natin pinapractice ito, ay mawawala at sa bandang huli, mamamatay. Kaya kayo ay uh, mapapalad no? because you are practicing by, by coming to Mass even on weekdays. You continue to practice your being Catholic. And by doing that, the more that you become Catholic. So to the one who has more will be given it. Pero dapat tingnan din natin ang ating mga kapatid na hindi pinapractice ang kanilang pagiging katoliko. This is what we call the non-practicing Catholic. Sana maawa tayo sa kanila at himukin natin na maging katulad natin na practicing Catholic para hindi mawala. Delikado kapag hindi isinasabuhay ang pagiging katoliko, nagiging non-practicing Catholic, mawawala at mamamatay ang kanilang pagiging katoliko. 
Si Saint Thomas Aquinas ay talagang isinabuhay niya ang kanyang pagiging katoliko. Kaya sa bandang huli, siya ay tinaguri ang the wisest of the holiest and the holiest of the wisest. Ganyan ang nangyayari kapag talagang isinasabuhay natin ang ating pananampalataya, ang ating pagiging katoliko. Maaring hindi tayo magiging katulad ni Saint Thomas Aquinas na wisest and holiest, pero sana tayo'y magiging holy and wise Catholics. At yan ay mangyayari lamang kung patuloy nating isinasabuhay ang ating pagiging katoliko at ang ating pagiging katoliko ay magiging buhay na buhay hindi mawawala hindi mamamatay My brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of St. Thomas Aquinas be pleasing to you, O God, our Father, for taught by him we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Thomas Aquinas, you bid your church rejoice. So, too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth, earth are, are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is, is he who comes in the name of the, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in, the, in highest. the highest. You are indeed holy, O God, our Father, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. In this prayer, stop, proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. And come again. Proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O God, our Father, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, O oh God, our Father, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Broderick, our Apostolic Administrator, and all the clergy, all the religious and all the laity. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostle, Saint Andrew, the Apostle, Saint Thomas, Aquinas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. As Jesus taught us, so we don't have the courage to pray to God, our Father in heaven, that he may deliver us from the scourge of COVID-19. Our Father, who Lord art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive, forgive us, us our trespasses, trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O God, our Father, we pray from every evil, especially the evil of COVID-19. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away, away the, sins the sins of the, of the world. world. Have, Have mercy. mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. My brothers and sisters, behold Jesus, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. I'll be our you are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May Jesus bring all of us to everlasting life. Amen. We would like to request those who would be receiving the Holy Eucharist to please fall in line on the designated aisles for communion. As you come before the priest, kindly remove your mask, extend your hands with palms facing up, and the sacred host on the left palm of your hand. Then step aside. Using your right hand, consume the body of Christ reverently. Put on your mask and proceed back to your seat through the other aisle. Thank you. So you already know, alam na po ninyo ang ating mga designated aisles, tatlo po yun. So dito, dyan at dito. Yesterday, dito ako nagsimula. Ngayon dito ako magsisimula. Then in the middle aisle, then here. No? So yung mga narito, huwag na kayong pumunta dito sa gitna. No? At yung mga yan nandyan, huwag na rin pumunta sa gitna dito na lang po. I'm 
Let us pray through Christ the Teacher, O God, our Father. Instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Thomas Aquinas, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kindly kneel for the Oratio Imperata against COVID-19. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Kindly stand for one parish announcement. We would like to invite you to our Kompisa Lang Bayan that's ongoing tonight until 8 p.m. Please come and receive God's love and mercy. Let the Lord forgive us heal us, and reconcile us. Thank you. So after the Mass, we have confession. Actually, it is already ongoing. So I hope you can take the opportunity of reconciling yourself to God and to your brothers and sisters through the sacrament of confession. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. And may the Almighty God continue to bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is over. Go and rejoice because by practicing your Catholic faith, the more that you will have it. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Thank you.